Erevan Davav, today's email comes from Yossi Feintel, Great Ten, Toronto, Canada. My grandfather listens to your live share at 2.15 Eastern Standard Time. And I get so much out of doing Chazor with Eivin Adav, a great service. The Rav, oy vey, the Rav deserves those ads on the buses. He's referring to the Chevra Shtick. They got advertisements with my face and the Eivin Adav on the local buses. They're still going around. Tremendous busyness. Today, my grandfather and I were in a car, listening to your YouTube share, as we just left the Yachikala in Lakewood, heading back home to Toronto. Every year we learn a new Sugi B'yim. This year we did Brochas Daf Mem Aleph. He's saying that it's Ashgach Pratis, that he just did Brochas Mem Aleph, where it's the exact same Sugi word for word to the Sugi and Erevin Dav Dalad Eretz Chid which occurred exactly to the day a half a year ago. Erevin Dav is discussing the breaches in the Pirza in a Mavi. Says the Gemara, according to everybody, if the breach is Fort Fachim and it's the wall next to the entrance of the Mavui, according to everybody, that makes the Mavui possible. If it's a breach that people use it as a shortcut, according to everybody, that's a breach in the Mavui. If that breach has Gidude, meaning some of the bricks are left on the bottom, the wall fell over, but the bricks are left, three Tfachim, it's not considered a breach and it's a Kashra Mavui. If there's no Gidude and people don't go through, then the Gemara says as follows. According to Rehunab Radi Yeshua in Rav, if there's a breach on the corner of the Mavui, in other words, the breach has two walls that fell down, the corner, the exact corner, and it's for Tfachim, it's possible. Why? Because people don't use that as a Pesach, and therefore it makes a Mavui puzzle. If the breach of for Tfachim is in the actual wall itself, then for that you need 10 Amois to make a puzzle. Rav Huna says the breach, the psul of the breach is always for Tfachim, not 10 Amos. And he said that he saw Rav Paskin. Halacha in the place called Mechariah, where there's a, a gap in the wall that was only Fort Tfachim, and he says that it's possible. So Rav Khan says, don't bring a riot from that place. That place, they were very lenient when it came to Mavi, and Rav had to make a gather over there, Dafk in that place. There's a concept called Mavi Akum. It's a Mavi in the shape of an L. According to Rav, it's considered Mefulosh. It's considered as if it's open from side to side, even though it bends. So what do you do? At the place of the bend, you have to put a Tzuras HaPesach. It looks like a doorway, and at the entrance to the Mavi, you put a Lechi or a Kaira. According to Shmuel, even though it has a bend, it's considered as if it's a dead end, and in the place of the bend, you don't put anything, but at the entrance, you put a Lechi or a Kaira. Now, we have to say that this Mavi is talking about that it's less than 10 Amas, because if it was more than 10 Amas, why wouldn't Shmuel consider it going through and through? So, up until 10 Amas, and Rav says that it's considered Mefulosh open, because even a gap of four Tfachim is considered open to him. Very interesting case. A person, let's say, owns two homes on either side of the Shusarabim, and he has a bridge going over the homes. Over here, we can use the concept called P. Tikra Yoyer Vesoysen, like good Aches Mechitzta. The edge of the house or the bridge comes all the way down to the, to the street, and therefore you could carry underneath the bridge. Says Rabbi Yudah, even a bigger Chiddush. You don't need a bridge. You could use a Kaira, two Kairas that go from side to side, both sides of the house, or two Lechis on both sides of the house, and then you could carry in Rishusarabim. With that lechi and kaira, say chachamim, you can't make an eruv in the middle of Rosh Hashanah. Says the Gemara, according to Rabbi Yochanan, you could actually make an eruv in a Rosh Hashanah. And he says that's why in Rosh Hashanah you were able to carry there because they had doors that they locked at night. Without those doors, it would be Rosh Hashanah. Rabbi Yehuda explains the brayz. There's a brayz that says, how do you make an eruv in Rosh Hashanah? Says Rabbi Yehuda, no, we're not talking about Rosh Hashanah. We're talking about a mavui mefulash open to the Rosh Hashanah. So how do you make an air over there? So either you make a Tzuras HaPesach on one side, and you make a Lechi on the other side. According to Hananya, in Beishamai, you have to do two doors, one on each side, and you have to lock the doors. According to Beishil, you do one door on one side of the open Rosh Hashanah, and on the other side do a Lechi or a Kaira. According to Rav, the Allah is, all you need is a Tzuras HaPesach, a doorway, and a Lechi on the other side. And according to Shmuel, the Allah is like Hananya, that you need one door, and a lechi. Now, you don't have to lock the door. In Abu Lidin Ardai, they had a case where the doors to the Mavoy were buried in sand. In other words, you can't open or close them. And Shmuel went in and out of that, and he didn't say you have to lock it. Says Gemara, according to Rav Kahano, that story was talking about that was slightly ajar, slightly open. And that's why Shmuel didn't say anything. But Rav Nachman says, in that case, you would have to remove all the dirt. Not because you must lock the door, but because you must be able to lock the door. And since it's in dirt, you can't lock the door. 
There was once a mavoi that was in the shape of a ches. In other words, it had two bends in it. What do you do? So they pass in like Rav and like Shmuel, Luchumra, meaning that you have to put doors in the corner. Rav says that it's considered wide open and therefore you have to put something in the corner. But he says you have to put a Tzur Zapesach. Over here you have to put something like a door. So on the one hand it's like Shmuel, but on the other hand that you have to put a door. But Rav says all you have to do is a Tzur Zapesach. But on the other hand it's like Rav that says they have to do something at all. According to Shmuel you don't have to put anything in the corner. So it's like both of them. The Gemara discusses how could you take Chumras of two. Have a wonderful day.